<laughs> hello, 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 hello everyone. And welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm distressed right now because let me, you know what? I'm going to share my review of the NARS <laughs> Reflecting Foundation, its newest launch. So become a subscriber today, let's go. Did I say welcome back to the universe? I didn't even say that because I'm so distressed. I'm so distressed. Okay, I sound super dramatic. So we're just gonna get to it. You can tell when I'm filming in the evening because the light just does not look natural. This is all I can do right now. I filmed this look earlier today and it looks better, better lighting, but I'll post that. But I wanted to share with you guys my, my review of this foundation. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm so distressed. There's, there's some reasons. This is NARS newest foundation, light reflecting foundation. It is supposed to have some skincare like benefits, improves the skin by 61%, more even skin tone by 93%, and then it says it in French. Um, see your skin in its best light. Light reflecting foundation instantly diffuses light to blur imperfections and smooth the look of the skin. It's powered by skincare ingredients. Product strengthens skin barrier to maintain moisture day by day. Visibly improves skin clarity even after makeup is removed. So obviously, as you can, if you've taken turns around the interweb, you know that people be comparing this to the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm so dumb. I was like, oh, I should compare it to the Charlotte Tour, and then I realized everybody already did do. And that's what I'm going to do too. I bought this foundation because I was like, I love the claims. I love, and light reflecting, natural finish, medium coverage. Sounds like right up my alley, right? It was $49, so it was very expensive. NARS foundations are pretty expensive. And then I had originally gotten Duville, L4, but I realized it it seemed a little just like a little like I can make it work But it was a little too light for me and I'm in the shade Santa Fe and soft matte So I picked up Santa Fe and so I did a first impressions reel and in the reel I liked it then like throughout the day I wore it and it was Okay, there's nothing inherently wrong, but I was like I'm not loving it And so my, and my first impression wasn't as strong as the Charlotte Tilbury when I did the Charlotte Tilbury first impressions I was like so good, so, wow, you know? But then this one, it was like, oh, so far so good, pretty good. But like, I didn't feel as confident as like, yes. So I continued to try it this entire week. So I'm gonna preface this with, I did not like it in the beginning. I don't wanna go as far as saying hated it, but I did not like it because I felt like my skin felt drier. I felt more textured. And like throughout the day, it was not looking good. And so I was really, really confused. And I was like, okay, dang. Do I just like not like it? And then I was mad that I didn't like it because everyone else seems to like it. So I was like, bro, what do I do? What do I say? I learned something, you guys. I was about to start my period. And that just changed so much for me because always during my period, my skin is fine. Like I'm, I'm nearing the end of it. But before I start my period, it all goes to the wazoo. So all the makeup that I wear pre-period Yuna, it, it looks okay, but like not that great. So I didn't realize that was the main variable and factor that was kind of messy because my skin always gets a little bit, it's not like I get pimples, but I have more hyperpigmentation, more redness, more dryness, more texture, everything more. So I was like, is it because of the foundation? Like this doesn't really make sense. Like it just doesn't sit well. And so then now that I'm nearing the end and my skin has kind of cleared up and become its usual pretty like normal texture, which is like pretty not texture. I have a much clearer understanding and a less confusing response, okay? But I'm still distressed and I'll continue to tell you why. So as you can see, I wore it for this look that I did right here and I'm gonna insert a whole clip of me doing my makeup and you'll see me putting on this foundation and so first impression like i said it was pretty good right i can't help but keep comparing it to the charlotte tilbury which is like one thing that's also messing me up but let me just talk about this foundation for what it is at first so i would say for coverage yes it does claim to be more of a medium coverage foundation however i found it to be more light to medium and as you can see it doesn't completely cover up my hyperpigmentation or my redness but it does like a good job it definitely evens out your skin tone i do agree it is more of a natural finish and if the charlotte tilbury is on the natural dewier side this is most definitely on the natural matte side 
However, as you wear it throughout the day, I don't think it gets like more matte. I do think it gets more on the like natural to dewy, but I don't really see an intensified dew. So I do like that. It is incredibly thin, the formula. It is not thick at all. It is more like viscous and watery, which I really enjoyed. And it really doesn't feel like you have anything on your skin. Once you blend it out completely, it looks very, very much like your skin. So I do think it lives up to its like claims of being skin-like and things like that. That's not really where I'm like, distressed about and then when I tried it on with this past week I wore it all day I wore it with masks and it just it seemed a little patchy and a little drying and when I wore it with my Charlotte Tilbury press powder and my stay matte rimmel powder which is what I use all the time it felt very very dry so I was like mm. I was really confused because it's like a nat it's not even a matte foundation so I was kind of confused about that Okay, so this is a very long time I've been wearing it, almost 12 hours, and I wore a mask, but I just want you guys to see I wore a mask, but like, the problem is not with- this is where I wore my mask, so I'm okay with that, but I think it just looks- ugh, sliding makes me look kind of like it looks okay. Dry looking, I feel like? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But the problem is not with the patchiness, it's like with the dryness of it. It's like a dry patchy. Second thing is, I think the skin tone, like skin shade wise, I can make both Santa Fe and Deauville, Duvet, Duvel work. But I think the best combination is the middle of them. Okay, it looks really, really light. So this is Santa Fe, okay? And this works, right? And this is Duvel, okay? They are, I would say too, they're on the more warmer sides of neutral. So it is, it doesn't actually, it, it fits well, but I wish it was a little bit more neutral. This right here is Santa Fe in the soft velvet matte. And I don't know if you can tell, but I don't know how, sim like this seems a little bit more neutral, right? Than this Santa Fe. Like this is Santa Fe and this is Santa Fe as well. But I think this shade matches me better in the soft matte because it's a little bit more of a neutral shade. And then I'm gonna show you guys the Charlotte Tilbury, which I think is like absolute perfect shade match for me. It's like cooler. Do you see? It's a little bit cooler. I would say it's closer to this shade, which is why I picked up this shade. When I swatched it, I was like, it's this one. But then I feel like this and this mixed is a little bit better. So I would be using this. Another thing is I have to use two pumps of this to get kind of the same finish as the Charlotte Tilbury. But then when I use two pumps, I feel like it's too heavy. And I don't like using two pumps of foundation anymore. Like two pumps is very 2019, Yuna. Even if it's so thin, I just don't, like my Dior Forever is just as thin, I think, as this, but I only use one pump. Granted, that is a lot more coverage. So that's another reason why I was like, ah. So that's kind of where my mind was. So I was distressed because I was like, ah, there are a few cons, but then the foundation itself though, the application of it, the way that it sits under makeup and on top of like my skincare, the way that I can apply, it actually applies perfectly fine and the coverage is actually still like well you can see a little bit of some stuff that i have but i mean i don't i don't care that much because i don't have too much of that and too much pigmentation and i do like a little bit of naturalness so that's why i feel like i don't i'm not like die hard love this but i don't think it's bad like i think it's recommendable it's just a preference because i'm a black and white person in nature having this unformed, unconcluded opinion in my heart is really just messing me up. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I did eight hour, 10 hour, 12 hour wear tests. I didn't film all of them because I was just going about my day and I'll show you some. I did try to take some videos where you can see kind of the dryness at the end of the day, but that's again, pre-period Yuna. Today and yesterday, this has been sitting so well on my skin, like so well. But I will say, like, you can see, 
I need to turn this light lower. You can't tell that I'm wearing makeup. I did get a hair bit of creasing right here, which I don't mind a little bit. So that's the thing, I don't mind. It's not, it wasn't intense creasing. But I think also at the very end of the day, I've only worn this for like six hours. I didn't look like my dewy self. Like this is why I'm having such a hard time saying that I don't like this foundation because it's not, 100% true. Like, I just don't think it's as good as the Charlotte Tilbury for me. I just think at the end of the day, it doesn't hold up as well, but it doesn't hold up poorly. It took me a while to film this review because I was like, I need a really concluded conclusion, but I, I just don't have one. Do I recommend it? I think it's worth a try, yes. And I know that people will like it. That's the thing. I know that people will like it and it's actually very good. Like if you saw me in person, especially also if you're like more than this distance away from me, you're gonna be like, your skin looks perfect. And I, that's the thing, I agree. But then if you come this close to me, you would be like, oh, your skin looks great. And I'd be like, I still agree. But I just know that it's almost like a little too skin-like. I don't know. I think the Charlotte Tilbury gives me legitimately beautiful skin, but it still looks natural and it still melts so perfectly together. But with this, it does do that just like 2% less. I wish it married my skin just a little bit more. Um, but I know that if I put on too much, I'll definitely crease here and I'll feel cakey. And then if I wear too matte of a powder, I'll feel dry. And I just hate that dry feeling. I just don't know if it's worth it when I know I have a better option that does the same things for me. And I don't like the fact that I have to have two. This is a hundred dollars, you guys. hundred dollars? I don't know. Yeah. I'm living rent free at my parents' house, but not for long. And I still don't got a hundred dollars to spend on a foundation, but do I got a hundred dollars to spend on a Pat McGrath palette? It's where your priorities are at. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you guys uh, appreciate this doggone terribly inconclusive review, but that's, I just, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like this is literally my experience. It is what it is, is what it is, okay? Let me know what your experience is with this. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I need to wait until like post period, you know? I don't know, but I'm gonna keep on trying now. I'm gonna keep on letting y'all know, but this is my review. That's it. As always, be nice to your parents. Wear a mat ask, mat ask, and see you at my next video, which I already filmed, so it'll be out. Bye-bye.